What are we doing in here? This isn't Figma, this is Illustrator. Do I need to know Illustrator to work in Figma? The answer is no. Okay, you can get quite far with Figma, drawing things, drawing icons, drawing logos, illustrations. It's got all the basics in there, but there will be a time where actually you need to do some custom stuff. We'll demo it a little bit in this video just to kind of show you and then show you how easy it is to kind of flick back and forth between Figma and Illustrator. So no, to be a UX designer, you do not need to know Illustrator, but it's a handy tool. Let me show you why. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a little bit of Illustrator. Mm, uh, to show you the where kind of like Figma stops, you can get go by with Figma to do a lot of what Illustrator does, but it's not made for it, so Illustrator does pick up quite quickly, and you're like, actually, maybe I do need to learn Illustrator. If you already have the skills, they're not wasted. If you don't have the skills, you might join my Illustrator Essentials or Illustrator Advanced courses. Check those out. But anyway, I'm just going to draw this, and I'm going to, I guess, just show you a couple of the things that make Illustrator why I come back to it, especially for logo or icon design. Okay, so I'm just going to, I don't know, I'll zoom through this, but I'm just going to, like, this is a drawing that I've done. It's one of the things we do in one of the courses. Okay, so I've drawn it, and I'm just gonna build it out with circles. You wait there. Okay, so I'm just kind of like making a bunch of circles. Uh, let's carry on again. All right, so I've just got a bunch of circles. Let me turn, let me show you the background layer off. Okay, and it's just handy because you can select them all and one of the kind of my most favorite tools is the Shape Builder tool. In one of the previous videos, we use kind of Boolean, kind of like Pathfinder in here and it's fine, but oh, Shape Builder, you ready? Uh, so let's hold down the Option key on a Mac, Alt key on a PC, and just kind of like drag through the stuff we don't want. Woohoo, look how fast and good this is. All right, and now that I wanna color it, actually, yeah, I wanna color it, I'm gonna go through and just pick some random colors for this one. Start with a light one. And this ear in here, instead of holding down option, hold down nothing, and you can join things up. Look at that. And work my way through the colors. Just the defaults. Kinda of good for a fox, though. You kind of impressed? Oh, it's fun. Love Illustrator. And the reason why as a UX designer, it's still often part of the kind of tools you need. Okay, select it all. I'm gonna have no stroke. Okay, and the cool thing about it is, watch this, working within Figma, or like kind of transitioning back and forth is super simple. So I've selected it all, copied it, and I'm gonna jump into Figma, and I'm just gonna paste it. It's a bit big, move it over here. But you can see, it comes through as a frame which is awesome. And it's even more awesome because I can go inside that frame and it's all still editable. I can make adjustments in here. So you might do your drawing work in there. Okay, but in here you can still make adjustments, but I can also go through and actually start picking my kind of uh, uh, corporate colors. So you wait there, I'm gonna color it. And remember, if we've got colors, I need one like another color Okay, to go darker, so I can click on this one and actually just break the link and go actually, let's just go a smidge bit darker for this one. Cool, so uh, working between Illustrator and Figma is super easy, just copy and paste. You don't have to export, and it remains editable and scalable and good. We have no reason for this, folks. <laughs> I just, uh, it's in here. All right, that's it. Maybe after this course, whether it's my training or somebody else's, go check out Illustrator if you haven't already. If you are a master of Illustrator, or at least maybe you're self-taught, check out my uh, Illustrator Advanced course. All right, on to the next video. All right, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, consider giving it a thumbs up-y likey thing, and also consider subscribing to the channel. I've got lots more Figma tutorials here. Also, if you do wanna go further with Figma, I've got a full course called Figma Essentials. Uh, check out the card up here or link in the description. All right, bye for now.